Hi, welcome to the Inventory Framework plugin. You might be here because you are wondering how to create new items. The process is quite um, straightforward. There's a bunch of examples in the example project, in the demo showcase, in the items folder. You can find examples of every single category of items that we have by default, but I will be covering here how to create uh, new blueprint items and how to create new C++ category of items. So to begin, let's start at the top of the documentation. Uh, to start off, you will need to get the into the engine and find your content browser. Uh, today, we are going to be creating a new consumable item. So we are going to create a carrot. So I suggest you keep all of your items inside their own folders in case you create a, a blueprint actor or you might have a texture associated with just this item. I, in my opinion, I find it the most comfortable to have everything associated with the item in its own folder, but it is up to you how your project is set up and how you want to organize your things. So if we continue, to begin, we're going to create a blueprint child. So we are going to create a child of BP item, uh, no, SM physical. And we're going to name it blueprint uh, carrots. And we will automatically get the blueprint component added to the actor. And next we're going to go into the container settings change it to pickup, which is by default. And then we're going to find the container settings. And for the container type, we're going to change it to this actor. And it's going to hide most of the settings associated with it because most of the other settings are irrelevant when it's set to this container type. So for the first index, we're going to have to set it as the item data asset but we haven't created that yet. So let's go back. We're going to go into miscellaneous data assets, and we're going to find item data asset consumable. And we're going to change, call it item data asset carrots. We're going to go here and it mentions, where does it say? Uh, yes, to have the asset manager pick up your data asset, it cannot be identical to another data asset. This includes the base file, so if all your default uh, variables are set to default, the asset will ne not get picked up. So I always suggest you just go into here, into item name, set the name, and perhaps set a developer image. For now, we're just going to set uh, the Unreal Engine logo. We're going to press save, go back into the carrots, and go here. We can find our carrot here, and that is all the data that we need to set. We want to perhaps add some kind of static mesh onto the uh, under the actor. I'm just going to for now add a cube and let's just scale it down a little bit. We can find our item here. Demo showcase items consumables carrot add it to the world. If we play. We can pick it up. And there's the carrot consumable. Though you'll notice that um, the uh, context menu is pretty much empty. And that's for a few reasons. First, the context menu for you to be able to drop the item, the physical actor has to be set. So let's go here and try this again. Now we get the option to drop the item, but we'll also notice the icon has changed. And that is because by default, it is using automatically generated item icons. If we disable that, uh, I believe it will... Yes, if the inventory image is not used, it will then use the developer image. We can still inspect the item. We can now drop it, but we want to add the same logic that the Apple has, that it can't be consumed. So for that, we're going to add the item driver, item consumable, uh, item object consumable, we're going to go into consume settings, set, uh, let's just say run animation. And most of these settings are already filled in. 
though the context menu is looking for objects that are using the items.objects.use tag. So once you set that and you go in game, you can now pick it up and now the use button will appear. You can press it and it will run the animation. Some important notes about the fourth step is to probably look at the item data asset gun and blueprint gun, or you can also look at the backpack example. But um, this, this process is a bit weird in my opinion. It might get changed in the future, but for now, for you to have containers set up, uh, containers set up properly, you will want to go into your blueprint item. Actually, actually, yeah, go into your data assets. You will have a attachment settings category, and you will find your attachment widget, which is the same widget you're gonna to want to set here in your widget class. And you're gonna have here four default containers. This is the same containers that will be retrieved when you do get default containers. These, uh, this will not get the default containers from the blueprint. This will get the default containers from the data asset. You will want to copy all the settings you have here and import them here. So remember the first index is always this actor. And then the first, item index, which is supposed to be your only item index in the first container is going to be your gun. And then the other containers are the containers attached to this item. And you can do whatever you want. You can add default items and so forth. Next up will be to create a C++ children of data asset core item. For most people, this is a process most people aren't aware, uh, familiar with because not everybody uses C++, they're using blueprints, but this is important for people who want to create a new category of items. So the process is fairly straightforward. I first suggest you install the plugin locally on your project. So you would have your documents, your Unreal projects, and then your project that you're working on, you might have it saved somewhere else. Uh, if you do not have a plugins folder, you will want to create one and uh, you can also find the process of how to do this here in installing the plugin. This is the recommended way of installing the plugin. After you have followed these steps, you will want to go into your tools and create new C++ class. You will want to go here and find DA core item, create it and set the path. I suggest you set the path to be inside of the inventory framework plugin folder, go into either private or public, go into core and find the items folder and keeping them all here. And remember to set it to public and it will automatically set the path from private and public. Once you have created the new child, you will probably have to compile again you will want to go into inventory framework plugin, public data, and find IFP uh, underscore core data dot H. And you will want to find E item type. And here you can see are all the categories of items. You will want to add your example down here or anywhere in this menu that you want. You will then go into the child for example, let's say I have just made a ammo child. You will most likely have this line automatically filled in, but this line is basically just the name of the file with you at the beginning for Unreal. So it's un, uh, it would be it would be Unreal item data assets underscore and then the name of your file or whatever you named your file. You will then want to go into the dot cpp file and set the type to be equal to the new entry that you filled in here. Uh, this is so many of the functions here in, for example, get attachment widgets. So it can do the correct casts and get the correct data as it is listed down here. Then once you uh, compiled your 
newly created uh, category of items, you can then find it in miscellaneous data asset and it will appear with the other item data assets. That has been it. If there are any more remaining questions or perhaps in the future the container setup has changed, the example project will be kept up to date. The Discord is also available and the documentation will keep getting updated. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.